All right, welcome to Everdome Moment. This is an impromptu kind of a sharpening session. I was getting ready to do something on my knives and I figured I might as well film it, throw it up on the internet. So we have some Shun knives and Tajiro. Let me see if I can get these up here for you. Shun needs to be polished up. Tajiro, this is the DP series. This is the Sora, both VG10. And so, uh, um, so the first thing I'm going to do real quick, there's a lot of scratch marks on this. I don't know that I'm going to get it out, but I'm going to just, this is the super finest, uh, scotch bright belt. So I'm going to put it on here and just try to buff it out a little bit. to show you is I did the finest scotch bright just to see if I could buff it and it got a lot better but there are some marks in here that are a little bit they need a little bit more love than the finest scotch bright okay so let's go down real quick let's exchange the belt we're gonna go to the rougher one I want to thank Cliff Curry from Curry Custom Cutlery uh, this is who I got the belts from Okay, so this isn't really gonna be like a polishing, but you can see the lines that are put in there from that. So all those marks are gone, which are really great. And then what we wanna do is we want to, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and keep polishing for this for a second. So let's just go ahead and polish up both sides. We'll go through the belts and we'll just make a little video out of that real quick. through a progression of these couple of belts. This is the green scotch bright. So I want to point out 
point out something real quick. When I'm polishing on this belt, this this blade, because it's convex, it um, I actually have to rock the blade on the Scotch Bright belt, and that's how I'm getting it done. Um, if I didn't do it, I would be polished in marks. My wife has pulled up in the driveway. She can go on in the house or come by and say hello or whatever she wants to do. I think most of you would conclude probably that that polish is already good enough. I'm going to take it down just a little bit more though. All right, so we got the gray. What's funny is the gray looks kind of green. What's really nice is that it's beautiful already. Definitely wouldn't, I wouldn't mind actually using some diamond compound on here and really making it fine. But yeah, that's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'd have to look into it and see if there's a finer version of the belt. I'm not sure if there is. And the thing that I'm still learning, for those of you out there, you're more than welcome to comment. So anyway, that was fun. And, uh, you know, always stay safe. Again, I've got my leather to protect me. I've got eye protection. It's a really nice night out here tonight. Um, I am not detecting a lot of debris out here for me to worry about the respirator. I appreciate you guys being concerned. We had a really nice wind tonight, actually. It was really good. So uh, thanks. For, hopefully that wasn't a dull moment. That was pretty cool, right? I mean, you know. We're going to be getting into Japanese natural stones. We're going to be doing some features on some new Arkansas that I got to see how much better they are. Of course, we've got new knives. We're still chasing unicorns, so we've got some nice unicorns. Appreciate you guys checking us out. Friday nights at 8 o'clock. I mean, what's up, man? God bless.